a little bit of context on Mickey Pena, who's the Australian Asian or the Australasian champion. Oh, this guy is a killer. He's got a great counter right hand, wonderful boxing pedigree. And uh, he's looking to represent Australia. He's Jim. Italian heritage. Đây là một trận đấu hứa hẹn rất rất nhiều điều, rất nhiều diễn biến thú vị. Cả hai đang thể hiện rất rõ quyết tâm của mình. Những đối trọng đầy đặc biệt. Đi cùng với hai võ sĩ là những người đồng đội, cũng là những võ sĩ bộ sinh và một ban huấn luyện rất hùng hậu. Thưa quý vị, sau đây chúng tôi xin được giới thiệu trong tài chính điều kiện trận đấu là ông Đỗ Đức Thành, giám định bao gồm ông Phạm Việt Khôi, Trần Bảo Sơn và ông Đặng Hiếu Hân. Mickey Pena is going to face Thomas Wu. A few things about both fighters. Thomas Wu is a tall, ranging, heavy-handed fighter. Reminds me of a combination of Tommy Hearns. And a 90s super middleweight killer, Gerald McClellan. He can move, he can jab, but he can also plant his feet and bang! Massive punch. And Mickey Pena on the, other, on the flip side is coming off the momentum of clinching the middleweight, I mean the uh, junior middleweight Australasian title. With a series of beautiful counter right hands against the bigger opponents. Mickey Pena has got a girlfriend of 11 years. And he will also be a dad. They are expecting a boy. In multiple ones. It's an exciting fight. There's a little bit of context for you, and this is actually a grudge match. Both trainers clashed heavily at the weigh-in. Voices were raised. Chests were bumped. There was a few threats. Let's see how that manifests. In round number one of fight number 10, Tommy Wu versus Mickey Pengu. Tommy Wu, the reach. Advantage. I'd say uh, Mickey Pengu, the beautiful counter right hand. Beautiful counter right hand, as advertised. It looks like the youngster, Tommy Wu, looks to stamp his authority. Mickey Pengu from the Bondo Boxing Club. The feints trying to navigate the reach of Tommy Wu. This is Tommy Wu's first professional fi uh, fight. Not sure who landed the better shot there. I think Tommy Wu with the lead right hand walked into a right hand from Mickey Pengu. Neither fighter looks bothered. Tommy Wu's got some nice right hands, but Mickey's got the heart of a lion and chin of iron. So they exchange hard shots on the inside. Both fighters miss with their left hooks. Tommy Wu is keyed up, looking to make a statement in round number one of fight number 10. He better not expend too much energy. He's only fought in the amateurs. This is his first professional fight. Now, Mickey Penu is smart. Mickey Penu is moving into his own prime. And he won't fall for anything silly. And he knows he can work Tommy Wu out if Tommy Wu is too transparent and too obvious. He's going for the early round knockout. Mickey Penu, great head movement. All those shots, glancing punches. Nothing landed. Might have motivated the Vietnamese crowd. Did not hurt Mickey Pena. Nice counter left uppercut there by Tommy Wu. It's perhaps the first flush shot of the fight. Good left hook there by Mickey Pena and another left hook for good measure. Overhand right, he drops low, then bowls the overhand over the top. Going back to the body, you'll probably expect another overhand right soon. Mickey Pena has a diversity of punches to the head, to the body around the sides. Both of these guys are established, ferocious body punches. We're just looking to see who can generate some momentum in round number one. Both fighters sitting in mid-range. Oh, they exchange hard right hands. Mickey Penny wore a couple of hard shots. He does not look bothered. Clinching. Tommy Wu working. Mickey Penny not happy with what he saw there. Wow. Tommy Wu has got to calm down. He doesn't want to fire all his bullets against the really clever and tough fighter in round number one. Good right hands there. Mickey Pingu comes back with his own hard right hand. We can tell already it is a, it is a grudge match. They, they exchange hard left hooks. Mickey Pingu goes to the body. Still standing there, Tommy Wu wears the left hook. He's got to move, he's taller. His footwork, 
Exchange hard left hands. Mickey goes to the body with the hard left hook. Mickey walks in with impunity, both hands down. Huge overhand right, doesn't quite land. That is the spirited round number one. Pretty exciting stuff. Very exciting round number one. Coach from the Bondo Boxing Club, the Italian stallion Tony Del Vecchio, imploring the referee, no hitting behind the head, which is illegal. Tony Wood trying to get every advantage he can for a kid in his first professional fight, he's got some venom. Like I said, I've got shades of Thomas Hearns and even more so, as you saw there, Gerald McClellan. Gerald McClellan, a killer from the mid-90s in the super middleweight division. Destroyed Julian Jackson in two fights and moved up to super middleweight and had his career ended by the dark destroyer Nigel Ben, who is ironically coming out of retirement on I think it's November the 23rd on this channel, abcenter.tv, fighting Sakya the Scorpion Beaker. Back to the action at Juan Kiem Lake. Victory 8 in Hanoi. Round number 2 of 4. Good job by Mickey Peng Yu. Tommy Wu probably looking to counter if he's sitting in mid-range. Both fighters got great hand speed. Tommy Wu is obviously a little bit longer. Mickey, Pew, Mickey Peng Yu rather. He's got a devastating overhand right. Tommy Wu in his own right has got a wonderful right hand as well. It's more of a straight right hand. Mickey likes to bowl it over. Tommy Wu with a nice body jab. Really good round number one. Tommy Wu just on uh, activity. I got a bit of a, I'm, I'm worried for Tommy Wu. These Mickey Peng, you jab to the bodies and overhand rights are going to catch Tommy Wu at some point. He doesn't keep his left hand up. Really dominates most of his sparring partners. He sparred a lot in America. He keeps his left hand down, which is really dangerous against a really intelligent pinpoint puncher. Mickey Peng, you has thrown too hard overhand rights that haven't quite landed. But uh, Tommy, uh, Mickey, uh, Getting the names mixed up here. Tommy wears a straight right hand to the body. He's got to keep his left hand up. Mickey Peng, you almost landed a big overhand right at the end of round number one. Mickey Peng, you has got power. Tommy Wu, the infamous Wu, or the infamous Wu. Catches a hard right hand off a left hook. Left hook right hand by Mickey Peng, you. Better round number two for Mickey. Wu. Whoop. Oh, nice little right uppercut. They work on the inside. Both of these fighters can fight at range. They can also work. Really impressed by Tommy Wu. Fight fire with fire. Coming into this event, he's never fought as a professional. Never with our headgear on. Now he's under the lights in front of around 20,000 Vietnamese people. He's doing fantastic. They've simmered down. They've both slowed down in round number two. After a blistering start to round number one by Tommy Wu. Mickey Penny probably sees that Tommy Wu has shown his best in round number round number one. Good counter shot by Mickey Penny. Both fighters are not averse to a punch up. Good left hook there by Mickey Penny. Mickey is a really subtle, clever fighter. He'll pick you apart from the outside and he'll chop you up on the inside. And he started to land the better shots in round number two. Tommy Wu, oh wow, they exchange hard shots. Oh, that is a big right hand. Mickey, Mickey Penny takes it fine. Still 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Look at the energy. Oh, nice left hook at the end of round number two, Mickey Penny. Snuck through the glove of the very, very colorful both literally in hair and also personality, Tommy Wu. Tough round to score.
won their boxing club. Oh wow, that's a huge right hand. No respect by Tommy Wu. He's generating some momentum. Mickey Pena will come back. He's too tough. Oh, that's a huge right hand by Mickey Pena. He's backed Wu up. They're exchanging hard shots. That's that big overhand. Mickey Pena has got to be annoyed by that. That is poor, poor, poor sports, sportsmanship by Thomas Wu. He's gone out to touch gloves. And he's cracked Mickey Pena. They sit in the middle of the middle of the ring. Thomas Pena. I mean Thomas Wu. And a couple of hard right hands. Mickey Pena, the chin of granite, has worn them all. He's come back with a couple of his own hard shots. Tommy Wu, huge body shots by both fighters. The Australians do not like Thomas Wu, and he is happy to play the villain. Smiling, gloating, mid, mid, mid ring, hands down. Mickey Pena looking to generate some momentum in the third round. They exchange left hooks. Mickey Pena get there, gets their flush. Not really much on it. A little bit of body work by Mickey. Both fighters are long range fighters. They're both great boxers, but both are happy to muscle up and trade shots on the inside. Wu momentarily in Southpaw. Pengu with a jab, it lands. Pengu ducks under two shots by Wu. A couple of good body shots and an overhand right by Pengu. Nice rolling right hand there by Pengu. Mickey Pengu doing some good body work there. Hook to the head, hook to the body, and another left hook to the body. That's money in the bank. This is the third round. This kid's only 20 years old. That's going to have an effect on him. They exchange hard shots. Both fighters miss. As we see the vision of the crowd. Nice lead right uppercut and then a left hook by Pengu. Mickey starting to come back. A rough fight. Thomas Wu lapping up the limelight. Gloating, holding, hitting on the break, hitting at the beginning of the round. Mickey Penny stalking forward. Both fighters throw a couple of hard shots. Mickey Penny with a partially landing left hook. Wu with a chopping right hand. Penny comes straight back. Nice little flurry of inside hooks. Penny will put his head on your chest and bash to your body. Oh, almost landing there with a couple of wing wild left hooks. They get busy on the inside. Wu holds, the referee breaks him. That is the end of round number three. Mickey Penu, a very tough start to round number three. Come back really well. He landed some good short chopping shots on the inside. And a couple of hard overhand rights. We see head coach Tony Delvecchio from the Bondo Boxing Club pouring his charge to work. This is the last round. He had a very tough first round. Tommy Wu clearly winning round number one. Can we you come back in round number two? Round number three. Blistering start by Tommy Wu. Tommy Wu looks amused. Definitely happy to play the Floyd Mayweather style villain. Coach Ali from the Philippines shakes the Vietnamese American's arms. Gearing up for round number four of what has been a very, very entertaining, brutal fight. I first met Mickey Pengu here for the first day he walked into the boxing gym and he's gone from a, a hard hitting, knockout laden or knockout crazy amateur to a precise counter puncher. Happy to sit on the outside, pick you apart, but also muscle you and beat you up on the inside. Let's see what happens in round number four. The final round. Nice right hand by Mickey Penu. Good right hands coming back from both fighters. Oh, they're trading huge shots. Nice left hook by Mickey. Thomas Wu gets under those two, those two hooks. Rolls that right hand. Mickey Penu's here to get busy in round number four. Good long range shots from both fighters. You can tell Tommy Wu's going to let go a big right hand in a second, but at the same time. Mickey Penny is going to bowl one of those chopping overhand rights. There you go. Tommy Wu out of range, out of range though. Mickey Penny hands down. Tommy Wu right hand up. Good little body shot on the inside by 
Mickey Pengu, this is a tough fight to score. Good body shots on the inside. Nice left hook by Mickey. He's got some momentum in round number four. Thomas Wu might be playing possum. He might just be stalling for a breather. Or he might actually be gassing. Find out his mouth is a gape wide open. He doesn't have the same confidence as Mickey Pengu bombs him, strafes him along the ropes. Nice little left hook landed and another left hook. Mickey Pengu being in Really encouraged by the Australian contingent. Nice left hook right hand, another left hook. Mickey Pena will take your part on the inside ally, James Tony. He walks forward with some authority now. Tommy Wu on the outside. Nice movement by Tommy Wu, but he hasn't landed anything in this round. This is supposed to be his round. This is the round that Tommy Wu could clinch the fight, but it's Mickey Pena. This is all, all Mickey Pena in round number four. Good right hand by Mickey and a good left hook. Tommy Wu just sitting on the ropes. Very little offense. Mickey Pengu, super relaxed. Stalking his man. Oh, nice counter shot by Wu and then a nice left hook to the body by Pengu. Lead right hand by Mickey, Tommy Wu. Wu and Pengu. Wu backpedaling. Mickey storming him. Battering him along the ropes. Wu's tough though. He's only very young, but he is tough. Well, that was a huge overhand right. And again and again. Good left hook there. Wu comes back with his own right hand. Again, it's the overhand right of Mickey. He's chopping him up. It's a big round for the Australian from the Bombay Boxing Club. Battering Wu, who backpedals. He doesn't look fresh or confident anymore. He's done some great work in this fight, but he's looking to hold as they finish the final round. A great fight. Now that was a fight. Vicky Pengu, the Bondo Boxing Club against the infamous Tommy Wu carried the action early. Vicky Pengu came back. Capitalized again in the third round, and then Vicky Pengu had a devastating and supremely dominant fourth round. Thank you.